I tried to put it all together as possible. So if I understood you correctly, you have a coaching business that you have been working with and most of the people have been fighters. And right now you want to rebrand and start coaching people on a more lifestyle based type thing. And I know you've got the whole nutrition going on at, uh, in the background as well. So I, I see you being that one go-to person for like nutrition, lifestyle, mindset. Um, you know, when somebody just really wants a boost, maybe even career boost or like, you know, confidence and things like that. Have I got you right so far? Yeah, man, definitely. I mean, I, I've looked at quite a few things. I, I looked at, um, there's a guy in the States. He, right. does, he started out how I started out. So he coached fighters with their nutrition and uh, weight cuts and things like that. And now what he's moved into, he still coaches fighters. That, that's his main platform. Right. But he's moved to now uh, coaching entrepreneurs. Okay. So having a look at it in a way that, well, not just entrepreneurs, I mean, he markets it that way because everybody thinks they're an entrepreneur and they like to be seen as such. Yes. Um, so what it is more so though is having the knowledge around nutrition and how that can make you feel, how you can, you know, get rid of that brain fog era of mind and, and structuring someone's nutrition around their lifestyle. Um, you know, so he, he target, his target market now is entrepreneurs and helping them to maximize uh, the benefits they get from their nutrition with, you know, helping with digestion, with, you know, helping with neurological function through the right fats, uh, fatty acids and foods so that they can enhance who they are. So, you know, every entrepreneur wants to be successful. Um, they all read books. They all, you know, listen to audios. They all, they all do everything they can do mentally or, you know, we would hope they would if they want to be successful. So he hits them from that angle to say that, hey, you're doing all this right, but you're missing out on something very important and he hits the nutritional side of things. So I did look at that, but I think I want to do more of a holistic um, when I say holistic, I don't want to specialise in nutrition, to, um, right. to be clear. If someone needs help with nutrition, definitely I, I can give that knowledge. That's what I've done for the last 15 years. Um, but I, I enjoy the mindset side of things. So, you know, working with people on, as you said, lifestyle, um, career, business, whatever it might be, not necessarily... You know, I'm working with businesses at the moment that through default, just through chatting to them as friends and things like that. And they've just said, hey, man, you know, I don't charge them. They're, they're friends and I've been helping them out for a while. And it's got to the point now they're ringing me every day, getting advice. And it's more so that they'll talk to me and get clarity about clarity about where they're going and what they want to do. We'll get off the phone. And the next time I speak, they'll be like, man, I was so motivated after I spoke to you. Everything was so clear. Um, you know, I got so much more done. I was so much more productive to the point now where I've had a few of the guys uh, say to me, hey, you know, they're not making big money at the moment. But they're like, man, as soon as I'm making money, I, I want to pay you as a coach. I, I want to have you keeping me accountable. And, you know, um, because, you know, I'm good at it. It's something I've been told my whole life. Whenever I'm around people, they always say that I lift them up and make them feel good and um, and it's not just about making people feel good, though. It's about actually giving them some steps to take action to get the results. It's all good to feel all fuzzy and great, but you need to take action. So I want to do something along those lines. I guess my own limiting belief, which is something that I work on with other people, my own limiting belief is I've been a part of quite a few groups and you always get, I don't know whether you've had this, you, you get the, you always get that person that's, oh, you know, how can this guy be a coach when, you know, he hasn't got what I want. You know, I want to go to a coach that's got what I want. I want to, you know, if you haven't made a million dollars, why am I going to come to you for coaching? Or, you know, if you haven't been highly successful in business, then why is a highly successful businessman going to come to you or someone that wants to be highly successful in their field? The thing that is I understand with coaching is it's, I don't need to know what you do. I don't, I don't need to know anything about your business. I just need to know about people. I need to know about... My thing is I'll help find the champion inside of you and bring that out. So I, I need to... You tell me about your business and then I will help you to, you know, to prosper within that. So, um, so yeah, that, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm passionate about. And I, I know I'm good at it, but 
my biggest setback has been that limiting belief and to be honest is just a package so like I said that that's what's uh, you know attracted me to you was that you know putting some sort of a blueprint in place or a package to so that I can actually market a feasible package and say you know step one here's a small package it's one day it might be very cheap but it leads on to package two three days or or something as simple as to start out with this this interaction um, marketing you know a one-to-one coaching half an hour a week or whatever it might be um, I know a lot of coaches that do that they, they do a they have uh, little webinars or, or little you know pre-recorded um, logins you log in and you get your lesson for the week and then the following week they'll do their half an hour consult with you and go over where you had your wins where you had your losses and and you know then they'll send you an email with feedback of here's some action steps to make sure that it happens that you you get that done so it's just accountability really but yeah my, my thing is as you can probably see it's it's very scattered even in my speech and in the way I'm describing it all because I, I just can't seem to get that that package together of how I want to deliver this in my target market. I, I, I get you. I get you completely. I was there before. Um, I've tried everything that people have put across to me. The one thing is you want something that works for you and it's going to translate to either creating a lifestyle out of it and also you also having your customers understand you in the process and know what it is that you're going to be offering them. Now, yeah. all you need is to package that message, all right, into some sort of product that people would buy off of you, get results, rinse and repeat, okay? So that's, I think, where you are right now, if I'm getting you correctly. Yeah, yeah. Because you are entering into a market that's already skeptical. All you just need to do is position yourself as the right kind of person with the right kind of message, with the right kind of product that your kind of people are going to want to consume over and over and over again. You've got so much to offer, whether is it the nutrition, whether is it the mindset, whether is it just your story is good enough. Because you know why? People come to the internet right now to get information and you've got oodles amount of that information that you can just put out into some sort of a product that you just need to specify bringing somebody from where they are right now to where they can be and you just become that person in between. You then decide how you want to charge. Does, does, does that make sense? Am I understanding where you are and where you want to be or... Is yeah, that yeah, yeah, cool. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, so essentially you have a message that has to be delivered into a skeptical market. So the only way people will do business with you is when they know, like, and trust you. So we need to create you into some sort of an authority that then has all these little packages, right? And then we just figure out how you want to build them and how you want to deliver those packages. So essentially, we need to figure out your market. Are we going to be going for the fighter? Are we going to be going for the entrepreneur? Are we going to be going for that dad? Do you know what I mean? We need to segment that niche. The reason being, once we know who exactly your client is, everything else is easy. You know why? We now know what their pain is. We now know what message to hit them with. And we now know what product will solve that pain. All right. And then when we know a product that solves their pain, then it's easier for us to stand in and say, I'm Craig, I'm Superman in fixing your health. I'm Superman in fixing your um, mindset. I'm Superman in fixing your business. Okay. So you, all you need to do is obviously you've got the background work. Now we just need to nicheify it. Like you're saying that you feel like you're scattered, right? And normally when you feel scattered, you, you feel like you are an imposter. You know what I mean? Because then you don't feel like, you know, you, 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 you want to be an expert, but then, sorry, we've got the bosses just, hey, honey. 
it's fine. Just say hi to Craig and then go back. They just came back from school. Sorry, man. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Craig. Hello. Did you just finish yeah. school? <laughs> All right. So you go to mom now. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Sorry, man. I said realization. Very cute. Very cute. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is what I live for, and I think, and I see you've got, is that a son or is that a daughter? Yeah, son, yeah, take them, yeah, I'm the same as you, man, that, that, that's my life, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing with. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what we do it for, so essentially, like I was saying, you really want to package your message into some sort of a, 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 a consumable package, people don't want to know the whole process. Because what people want to buy, just like you, you want to buy the lifestyle. You want to, from, from all this, you want the lifestyle. You want the freedom to spend with Tatum, is it? Yeah, yeah, Tatum, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then you want that, that luxury to go on holidays. You live in Brisbane, right? You want to be going... Yeah. Ah, right. You want to be going to... Um, you want to be going to movie world and all those places yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. having to worry about what's going on because your business is looking after you do you know an area called pimpama yeah yeah i know pimpama yeah yeah Thank you. all right so we'll be neighbors soon we just picked up a property there it's oh, it's, nice. <laughs> it's just yeah, yeah. yeah so what, what what i'm just trying to say is it's it's easy to feel um like an imposter or to feel like you you do not know what it is that you're doing because you are everywhere what we need to do is just condense it and then just work with one specific market design one particular product in the process find out exactly what their pain is and then when we do know what their pain is we just go in and solve it and once you solve a couple of pains <laughs> the rest is profit you know yeah. what I mean? The, the, rest yeah. comes, the rest just comes on its own. So a lot of people want to touch on everything. I want you to, to figure out where you actually, your biggest strength. What do people say you're good at, Craig? Probably, man, I, I, I would say nutrition because I've been doing it for so long. But to be honest, it would be motivating people, making them feel good about themselves. And, um, you know, I get told it all the time from friends and friends that I haven't seen for a while. If I haven't chatted to them for a while and we have a conversation, so I'm like, oh, man, I miss, your, I miss your positive mindset so much. You know, you always make me feel good about myself. And, you know, um, one of the things I've been getting lately, which has probably come down to my focus being that I want to do this, is that a lot of people have been telling me that, I, I give them direction. It's like when, you know, after I finish speaking, I just feel clarity on where I want to go. So I guess that would be my, yeah, that, that, that's, and that's what I want to do. That, that's, that's what I'm you know, passionate about is helping people to find that clarity and that, you know, so that, that's why I, I was looking at the goal setting side of things and, you know, find somebody's why and their drivers and, you know, um, and for target market, I, I don't know exactly the person but to be honest, that person's me. <laughs> I was going to say that because you can only yeah. sell you, right? So we are going to go out and look for people specifically like you, right? You're a dad, you're a business person, okay? There's plus or minus 250 people before we even start looking. Yeah. That are exactly the same as you, Craig, okay? So those are your people. Hold on, let me, let me just... Because <laughs> I will get distracted. <laughs> yeah, right, man. Yeah, just go to mum, and then I'll see you in the. Yeah. Sorry about that. No. Yeah. Right, man. Don't be sorry. <laughs> right. So there's plus the it, it it does say there's about uh, 250 people that are exactly like you, and those are the only people that you really need in your business if you're really doing it well. Okay, so you now need to figure out what is it that people that are like you find most difficult to achieve on their own? I guess balance. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, trying to balance all the different things. You know, you're a dad, you're a business owner, you're a, 
you're a partner, you're a, you know, I've got my sporting, you know, I, I do, you know, I, I haven't fought since Tatum was born, but, you know, I had a few fights last year and trying to balance everything, my well-being, my health, my gym. So balance and to be honest, the struggle really is finding, being a new dad, finding that clarity where you, you know it yourself, when you, when you have a child, it's as if all of a sudden your whole world changes and you get a massive clarity about where you're going but at the same time and I know this is contradictory you get so muddled so what I mean by that is all of a sudden the clarity comes from knowing that all the stuff that I thought that mattered before doesn't matter anymore right. a lot of the things I found important aren't important anymore I don't you know um, going out doing all those things with your friends you, you know yeah you've got to socialize but all the things that I thought was important before, now that I've had Tatham, all of a sudden I've got a new, you know, I've got something that's more important than myself. So, so then what happens, that's when the muddle comes. It comes, okay, well, you know, it's like a realisation in life that, wow, I'm not exactly where I want to be and I've now I've got this little person and I want to be an amazing dad and I want to be, you know, I want to be able to give him the life that he wants and I've been doing great for me and my partner, but now that I've got someone else to take care of, I need that clarity moving forward of, okay, what am I going to do now? Now it's time to really take action and start adulting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did that, man. I, um, yeah, I used to, I used to smoke, um, potty, potty guy, you can tell, man, everything. But, uh, <laughs> As soon as my little girl came, I, yeah, I just decided nothing else matters, like you said. Um, I, I started looking at what was real. Nobody else even mattered. I just went out and I was like, you know what? Now I've got this little girl to look after. And I don't want her to think that I've failed her. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go out and work. And sh I decided nobody else was going to boss me around. Now she's my boss. Although we throw her out once in a while, but <laughs> she doesn't see how money is made. But I'll tell you what, people don't buy the plane. They buy the destination. Okay. Yeah. When Virgin Airlines advertises, oh, yes, we've got luscious seats, you know, uh, we've got the hottest, uh, what do you call those people? We've got the whole... yeah, <laughs> no, no, they don't sell you on that. They sell you on go to Gold Coast, go to Movie World, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sun, you know, Gold Coast is a city of yada, 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 right? So what we want is to create something off you, for you, that delivers an outcome. And the outcome right now is clarity, is guidance. The outcome is accountability. All right. So you want to position yourself as an accountability coach for dads, entrepreneurs, and people that really want to change their lifestyle. I'm just trying to, I mean, in the 30 minutes, I'm trying to craft something that could actually go to the market right now and start selling. Yeah. 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 All right. So does that, does that make sense so far? Is it, is it, is yeah. this, is this, okay. So essentially people would, like I said, by the outcome. So the whole process of how it's going to be done, now that's left to you because of your prior knowledge. When somebody comes to Craig, they want to know what it is that you're going to do for them at what certain time, okay? And how you're going to deliver it. Is it, do I have to come to your house in the Gold Coast or is it online or whichever way? So you need to figure out your market, the message and the medium that you're going to deliver that message, okay? So now that we have the whole internet, all those three things are easy to come by, easy to fix, all right? You just need to figure out how and what it is that you want to bring out. So yes. far, right, so far I can see your biggest outcome is clarity. Your biggest outcome is holding somebody's hand, all right? People come to the internet, all right, because of what you told me, I'm working with what you told me and, and how you can actually put all that into your business for you to start having a profitable and enjoyable business that has fine products that people are raving about. 
Okay. Yeah. So people come to the internet to get information. And if you're the person that's providing them with that information, they get to know, like, and trust you. And Craig, yeah. people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So in, in, in our scenario, we got connected. You saw something that you liked about what my business was. I knew you were a potential person that is in my sort of clientele scope. All right. And then you then figured out the blueprint was the easiest way. It was logical. And it's something that you could maybe plug into your business and you got intrigued. Right. So what we want to have for you is setting you up in such a way that when people see you, you've got a smoke trail of things that they'll be like, Oh, that's my guy. Uh, I need to speak to him. You know what I mean? Right. So even, even small things like the Gary Vaynerchuk video, all right. Um, you, you latched onto that and then you shared that. All right. So what that told me is you're somebody who wants to work and you value work and you expect that as an integrity of the people you want to work with and the people you want to deal with and the people you want to coach. All right. So I can yeah. see, I, I can so see you as the one person that is an ultimate men builder. You yeah. build men, all right? Either it's their nutrition, their parenthood, their business, because you've got business experience, and then just being a good bloke. Because yeah. you are a good bloke. And people would, would you know, resonate with you in, in the way that you embody all those characteristics. You, you're an awesome dad from what I see. You're an awesome sportsman from what I see. What you just now need to do is find your clan, feed them with that message, deliver it to them in the easiest possible way, and build them in the process. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're uh, if you don't mind, I could just walk you through how I managed to build my business and how I managed to put everything else together, all right, so that you can see if this is the sort of way you want things done. And it's, it's through that blueprint. It's proprietary. The thing about the blueprint is it's everyday stuff, but it's done in a simplified way that people really can say, look in the way that you looked at it and you say, okay, this looks like something I want in my business. This looks like something I can do. This looks like something my clients will enjoy. Once you get those two or three things, the emotion just comes up and says, I really want to see what that's about. So I feel like this is pretty much what it is that you also want your clients to feel when they see your stuff, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. So, um, from what I understand, man, you really have a lot going on for you and it's going to be fun building what you have right into this incredible authority. Yeah. Cause like I told you, people do business with those they know, like, and trust. And you become that person that is providing the right kind of information at the right kind of time. People would just be like, you know what? Just, this is this is the most logical thing for me to do, you know. Okay, yeah. right. So I've worked with a lot of people before, uh, gurus, marketing gurus. All they do is probably just give you a small glimpse of what's possible, and then maybe you'd have to figure out the rest on your own. That's the the blueprint that I have is sort of a combination of a lot of people's minds, but I simplified it in a way because English is not my first language in a way yeah. that I can understand it. And if I can understand this in the way that I understand it, every person would be able to, yeah? yeah. So I'm just gonna quickly share my screen so that I'm not talking too much. Just tell me if you can see the whole thing there or is it just a small bit? Yeah, yeah, I can see it, yeah. Right, so at the end of the day, if we have created your, clients or if we have created your sort of product the next logical thing would be to get more clients for you right yeah, yeah. right and uh, if you say would 
start doing this full time? Um, are you going to let go of your other businesses or how is it going to work? Um, yeah, I, um, that's, that's one of the things that I, I, I mean, with the shop, I will, I, in all honesty, it can run itself. So it basically at the moment, it pays the bills. So it's paying, right. you know, things. So, so I do spend time there. I need to create something else. I mean, one fight makes me money. But uh -huh. I, I'll be honest. I enjoy doing nutrition for fighters and right. most of my fighters, to be honest, but because I enjoy it, I don't, I haven't, I didn't know this until recently until I really sat back and thought, I thought, hey, you know what? I'm getting a lot of clients. Uh -huh. I'm not putting any effort in to get them and I could get a lot more and I could definitely make a lot more money off this. Why am I not doing it? What's holding me back? And it's because I enjoy it. Uh -huh. A hobby. It, it's ah. not passion. It's not. I enjoy doing it a little bit, but it's not my passion that I'd want to do all the time. So it makes me a little bit of pocket money, I guess. So to answer your question, this would become my full time thing. You know, it's. I would have the shop to, as a little bit of a fallback that'd bring some funds in. Uh, I yeah. enjoy that as well. I enjoy you know helping people. I enjoy the supplement industry. I was a bodybuilder right. for ten years. So, man, to answer your question, yes, this would be my full time. So, once it becomes profitable, obviously. Yeah, no, no. Well, this, this after we after we worked through this, and then you've actually seen that is the logical thing to step into. Um, I, I really want to see this through, okay? Because I feel like you are a gold coast version of me, and what that would then translate to is if we actually come to some sort of logical agreement, we can actually cross-pollinate clients once you've got your business going properly. I'll show yeah, you how. That'd be awesome. I, I honestly, uh, I, 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 I won't lie, I thought that already at the start of this conversation, I thought, man, this guy's doing this, he's already got a system. If we could, you know, yeah, like I already had that thought, but whether not, you know, I have been offered this three, well, not that you're offering me. What I mean is I've, I've had an offer three times now from different companies that I've spoke to that have uh, tried me to get me to come on board with them and I work under their banner and we do everything for them, but it just didn't resonate with me. It didn't, um, I don't know, they sound like salespeople, and, but I don't know, man, you, you just got that, you know, some people you just resonate with. You know, you, talk for, for, you can talk for an hour with somebody and not click. But then there's some people that you talk to for five minutes and you're like, man, this guy's cool. Like, this is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're just flattering me. Now, do, do you feel like you've known me uh, for, for a while now, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. So what, what I feel like is um, since you're going to be putting this as your go-to, we now need to structure it as a high ticket product, okay? A ticket product where you're actually charging no less than 2,500 and that's a minimum. Yeah. All right? Prices like that are possible. You know why? Because you're providing so much value to this person. What are they missing out on if they're not paying you that 2,500 on? How much is that costing them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Your biggest question to them, your go-to thing would be, um, let's say it's Craig. Craig, how much did you pay your TV for? My TV? Yeah. Uh, $2,000. Uh, yeah, $2,000. But how much did it cost you? A lot. Well, actually, to be honest, it doesn't cost me a lot because I don't watch it much. But if I watched it, it cost a hell of a lot. <laughs> Exactly. Whatever money you're not making, yeah. that's how much your TV is costing you. All right. So whatever stuff they're not doing in their life that you can plug yourself into, right? That's how much it's costing them to not engage with you. All right. Yeah. So we want to position you in, the, in, in that particular place where they just either be, sorry, I'm going to say this, either fuck with or they just don't have the need to survive up until next week. Yeah, yeah. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you're going to just come into them, to their life, and then show them, you know what? 
listen you shake them a little bit with your message you are here the potential is here i am just three thousand dollars away from you to earning seventy thousand dollars in your in your business in your business or in your uh, company all right so would you not invest that much for you to actually start living a life not a life of mediocrity and if they say no dude you walk away you know why because they're not your person yeah yeah cool yeah right so i think this should be filled into like a really high ticket system all right and the marketing should not be hit and miss we really need to specify that we're talking to the right kind of person that's where we want to start off with so if you look at the blueprint the capture part all right we want to start off by capturing the people we're addressing the four p's that are essential to any market whether it's social media whether it's your shop you need people to come to that shop whether it's any sort of business you need the people with the right kind of pain we will create a product for them and give them a really big send off which is what exactly they came looking for you and then we do it by over delivering you know why because we don't have that many people all right because everybody's trying to get everyone in the market now we want to specify just small target market that has the right kind of pain that will suit the right kind of product that we're going to create and your product has to be so dynamic that it suits people right from the get-go without even having to adjust anything all right so i can also help you create that that you can talk to an entrepreneur and then they'll be like whoa this is my thing you can talk to a new dad and then they'll be like whoa this is my thing yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. still the same thing right in in the same sort of way that i did so i created mine into like a four step and i'll just give you a small overview and uh it just does take a couple of minutes is that okay with you there craig yeah sure okay now the first part is really about talking to the right people see with people in marketing you can't just market to everybody like i said man spray and pray marketing that's why a lot of people get frustrated you know just spray something on the wall hope it sticks all right it, it doesn't work like that you know why because what interests you does not interest me we probably are both dads but you're in queensland and i'm in melbourne you yeah. wouldn't buy an umbrella all right you wouldn't buy an umbrella i would because melbourne weather is shit <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean so if somebody's coming in with an umbrella targeting dads you know they need to segment that market again dads where in melbourne or dads in in queensland you see where i'm going with this yeah. so not, not everyone is your customer and people don't realize that the coming in of smartphones people actually feel like every single product has to be so personalized coca-cola should actually be called craig and cola <laughs> am i lying am i right or am i wrong yeah, people, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. people yeah. want it so intimate that even the clothes they wear they want apple to be called crayple craig everything i don't yeah, know yeah. you guys got your way now you even got the craig's list <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> see it doesn't work like that all right <laughs> So, so what marketers really need to know is the smartphone has personalized things so much and as much as people now expect a concierge service everywhere they go and there's other businesses that is offering that to them now everyone is spoiled and then when Craig comes in with his cookie cutter type products people will be like oh, oh all right he's, he's trying let's see how long he's gonna last you know yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> No matter what happens is um, what we'll do together is actually uncover who the perfect person is for you, where they are, and we go to market to them specifically. All right. Normally, this part alone takes about three weeks because we try to figure out are we going, how are we delivering our products? Is it going to be online or are we going to be doing it in person? That's totally different to the person that we're going to be marketing to. So you see the whole specific. 
this is a word I can never say, but you get where I'm trying to go with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> specific, how specific it actually has to be. Yeah? Yeah, so yeah. You me so far, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Now, got a question for you. Now, what would it mean for you to actually talk to the people that actually need what you want, want your products and services and are ready and thirsty to buy right away? Oh man, it'd be uh, obviously I've got the product, so it'd be it would mean uh, it'd mean the freedom to run my business and, and enjoy what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Exactly. Be, right? uh, you know, if they need me, they want me, and they you know, and I have the the value, then obviously that also means profit. That means yeah, success. Okay, right. So this is where we're aiming to. So we want to get the right kind of person, feed them with the right kind of product to solve their right kind of pain. And you get the freedom, you get the profit you're after, and the success that you're after. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Would that make your life easy? <laughs> Very easy. Right. So, yeah, like I said, it's... When you can describe your customer's pain better than they can, they would actually assume that you are the E and and all of everything that they need in life. All right? So yeah. you really want to make sure when you find that person, we put it all together in such a way that we give them so much value they can't deny you. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right. So now... This will shortcut a whole lot of time. You don't have to explain yourself over and over and over again because this person already knows what, you, what, what, what their pain is and they know that you are the right kind of person to sort it out for them. Does it make sense to do it that way? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Now, obviously, once you find those people, what would an extra couple of clients mean to you per month? Man, if it's... Um... If it's paying the money that you're saying depends on what it is, but if it's an extra couple of clients mm -hmm. at a few thousand dollars a month, that it, uh, yeah, that that would that'd probably replace the need for the money taken from the shop. So yeah, it just mean that little bit more freedom and and, and comfort, I guess. Um, and I guess having that, if I was to get a couple of clients and actually start getting some success through a package that they're actually paying for, I think that would get rid of any of my limiting beliefs as far as I think that's what's, what I've been needing is that little bit of success in what I want to do. And I believe that once I get that, once that small bit of momentum happens, I think it's going to snowball drastically because I've got massive ideas of I'm good at what I do. I'm... And I genuinely am passionate about helping people. So I think it's just, it's just that being getting started, that, that having the package to deliver, the, you know, the, the system to deliver, knowing how to put that together and market it and get started. But once that happens, yeah, it would mean, uh, yeah, I think it would only be up and up. <laughs> well, this is what it does. This is exactly what it does, all right? You're getting the right kind of person, putting them through a funnel. They may not buy on like day one, but you know you've got a constant flow of people that are thirsty for your product. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And all this shop you're talking about, all the profit, success, that will come after that. The yeah, reason yeah. being, these people are already waiting for what you have to offer. Yeah? And all you doing is the, the really big great thing about this is you're not going to be selling and it's not going to be sleazy and it's actually a really enjoyable way of doing it because these people already know you they know you can solve their pain and you have a product that's ready for them like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah? okay yeah. and it's all about building relationships and is and i take it that's what you like to do as well right yeah, yeah, I like, 
I guess it's the sleazy salesman sort of thing that you said before. I like building relationships with people that are relatable and people that want to, like you said earlier about wanting to do the work. I like building relationships with people that, uh, I guess through the shop, it's a, with supplements, there's so much competition. You, if you're not good at networking and you're not good at building relationships, you're not going to do well on the Gold Coast. You're just not going to survive. There's in the three and a half years I've been here, I've probably seen easy a dozen stores open and shut. Um, purely, they have the same product, same better location sometimes. They just didn't have the networking skills and the relationship building. So I do enjoy that side of it, but I, with a shop, you've got that net and you're networking with everybody, which I do enjoy. Don't get me wrong, I'm a people person, but another reason for this business and where this really appeals to me, especially with what you're talking about with this small niche and finding people that are like me because people like people that are like them, right? Yeah. That appeals to me because that is the person I want to relate to. That's the person I want to interact with and build relationships with. So, you know, and in doing that and in actually enjoying it, it comes across a lot more genuine and, and, you know, obviously that's going to help retain the client and, you know, and have them, you know, they're saying I really like Craig, but what they're really saying is Craig's like me. I, I like myself. And then they start telling me how great Craig is, but all they're really saying is how great they are because I'm like them because that's my niche. Great. I, I feel like we, you, you're really understanding where this whole thing is going and coming from. The reason being, a lot of people, like, I'm, like I keep referring back to, they do not realize that when you talk to people that are the right kind of person, have the right kind of pain that your product can sort, the only logical reason with them is to either say, where do I sign or how do we, how do we start doing this? You know, and some people just go in and try with everyone. Like you say, with the shops, grand opening, grand closing. They just come in just because Craig is doing well. They're not doing their homework. Yeah. They just come in and then come in with whatever products. And then eventually they see that some other shiny object comes in, they latch onto that. And people like that are not sustainable. So when you have created this, after we've created this for you, this has to be your life goal mission because you know why you're passionate about it all right and it's not something that you don't want to be doing in five years because you keep referring to wanting to help people there's always going to be somebody you can help and if your product is positioned in a way that you are charging the right kind of price that can sustain you month after month and you've got people on the waiting list or people that are in the funnel that are probably not ready today but they know about your product and they are saving and they're just thirsty out there waiting for, for the day when they get a good paycheck. You can create that. And, and that's where you're not sleazy anymore. You get people knocking on your door saying, Craig, man, sell me your stuff. You're like, I don't have anything to sell. You're like, nah, come on, you must have. Everything of yours looks so good. It must be something you can sell me. You will yeah. start having that kind of, that kind of business and the profit comes in the, the the success comes in you know and you can get rid of the shop or stay with the shop but you can also use the shop as a lead generation tool to find your person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right so um like i said if you really really put yourself to to this people go to the internet to find information all right, about a lot of things. And if you're the person that's providing them with that information, you become the person that they know, like, and trust. And like you said, people will be craigified. okay? Now, you would actually then engage with them and you're creating relationships with them, you're educating them in the process. And I usually have one rule in my business that we do not preach until you've provided enough value, all right? So that's just essentially how you would be going. It's no longer sleazy. You're just providing a solution that people readily want. But you can only provide a solution to somebody that is your kind of person. So that's why the first part, the first capture phase is very crucial. That we identify our, our target market, 
target audience so that we target them with the right kind of message, deliver on whatever product that, that would work for them and uh, give them the biggest payoff. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, and uh, I, I feel like what would be the most logical thing to probably start off with is to condense what you already have into just one small thing that you master. And once you've mastered that one thing, we go into the content phase. Now the content phase is when you start engaging people and educate them about what it is that you're offering. Because some people don't understand that they have a problem. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't know that they have a problem. So you start educating them on what their problem is because you already know what their pain is. And then they get engaged to say, oh, I didn't know. And you already are ins inspirational. You're very inspiring. I can, I can tell. That's the reason why I want to talk to people on, on Zoom. Because then you, you do exchange the energy. And I can tell your energy is, is contagious. Thank you for that, sir. And, and then you inspire them into wanting to do greatness. You inspire them into wanting to, to, to be good, feel good, um, be the best dads, be the best business people. All right? It's because of yeah. your, your content, right? You already have a good content strategy. I mean, the little that I've seen, those little videos, you know, showing people what's possible and talking about Monday and, and you know what I mean? That's the kind of thing that people, I went into the comments as well to see how people are engaged. People are engaged. You just yeah, need yeah. to have a system to build them because right yeah. now people know you as Craig, but you need to position yourself as Craig the accountability authority, as Craig, the nutrition authority, as Craig, the Craig master, Craig, the whatever. Now that name will come from the product from the first phase. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, when you've got people that are engaged, when you have content that's educating them, you're inspiring them, you've positioned yourself and you're providing value, how much time would you save if you don't ever have to explain yourself ever again to a lot of people? Oh yeah, man, so much. It's uh, having that system. It's, uh, I mean, I've, I've experienced it with one fight. I, I'm good at what I do and I, I just, I, I don't do the cookie cutter diet. I, every client gets 100% attention and every client gets a diet, or I don't, I don't call them diets, a nutrition plan based on them. But because I haven't put it into a system, every client, it takes me time, you know what I mean? So having that system in place, and again, it's, it's, I think it's because I do it because I enjoy it. And the bigger it gets with one fight, the less I enjoy it. So that's where I haven't put the time into building a system um, because I guess it's not my passion and my drive to do full time, but mm -hmm. that system saves so much time. So where I'm going there is this, having that system already in place where all I have to do is deliver what I'm good at and passionate about and, you know, my real value when all this bit's already done and set up and just doing its thing. Yeah. So much more time, so much more money because that time can be spent doing things that are actually. The yeah, freedom that you want. yeah. The freedom yeah, that, you, freedom, you know, finances, more time with my child and, and, you know, and helping people just, just, you know, getting results. See? Okay. So you're going to be engaging the right kind of person. You're educating them and you become their leader. And people always like to follow. Look at Trump. He knows nothing about politics, but he was a leader. Yeah. 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 Cause he's a yeah. leader. Right. I'm learning a few things from that guy. He's just, it's just phenomenal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll then help you organize your content so that that's also part of, of the whole program, right? So we're talking to the right kind of people. We're giving them the right kind of information, and when the time is right, through your unique way of doing things, we actually tend those people that were just looking around the people that you were just talking to into really engaged clients and get them excited to become your customers. That's when we go to the convert stage. Are you looking at the blueprint, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so, so I've just, I mean, if, if you're with me, we've just finished um, the whole content piece. 
Now we go into the convert stuff, okay? So this essentially is an easy way of you flowing through your business and you can also do this for your customers. Right now, your customers already are thirsty for because you're, you're throwing them all this, um, you know, content. You no longer have to sell to them, okay? You get more clients and you're paying or you, you're doing less stuff, you know, why? Because your content is the one that's just going to convert them or whatever stuff or whatever your things that you're educating them through. They already know, like, and trust you, and all that's left is to just convert them. Yeah, yeah. Right. So like you, you are doubting yourself that maybe right now you're thinking oh, who would pay 2,500, but if it's the right kind of person with the right kind of pay, you've given them the right kind of information and you've educated them on what's missing out in their life and you can breach their gap. Like I said, man, they're probably just a douchebag if they don't buy anything from you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a friend in, um, I've got a friend of a friend, sorry, on the Sunshine Coast. Uh -huh. he, he does similar to what I'm looking at doing. He's a little bit more, more on the spiritual side. When I say spiritual, he's, he does, you know, he's a bit more with meditation and things like that, which I'm a big fan of and I believe in, but I, I don't, it's not something that I know enough about to teach. Right. Um, but he, he does a lot with that, but very similar. Man, he's, he's charging uh, $5,000 a client. And mm. to give you an idea, each client for the life of, for the, the total package that he delivers to that client takes him around, I think Benny was telling me, it takes him around eight hours. Uh -huh. And the whole life of that client's $5,000 spend, it is about eight hours of time that he actually ever even spends with them, you know, because it's half an hour on the phone here and there. Right. It's maybe, you know, local, you know, so breaks it up over it. And that's for one month. That's for four weeks. Within four weeks, there's eight hours spent. So it's, you know, it's two hours a week, basically, that he spends on each client and he charges them $5,000. It's um, obviously they get a lot more than that eight hours, but it's already pre-done. It's content that he already has, you know. Yeah. In yeah. Exactly. So that's, that's where I'm leading you to. You create that content where people would just latch on to. All right, and then for you, it becomes just easy and smooth, okay? Because these people need what you're selling. All you're just doing is finding a way to deliver it to them. And the fact that his product is unique and specific only to him, there's no way, that's the reason why people are paying that 5,000 because they cannot compare that to anything else that's on the market. It's not just going in and saying, I, I do meditations. Okay, you can just go on YouTube and download some music and just, you know, <laughs> yeah, he's doing it in a different way. So that's where, when you really know what your client's problem is, right? You just latch in there with the perfect solution. People will pay for, for, for convenience. You know what I mean? Because yeah. what you are providing is convenience and just downloading your um, knowledge into some package that's ready to be distributed to people that they can just consume in some weird fashion, maybe through a podcast or through <clears throat> whichever media you would think is, is favorable for you. would yeah. also look that in the content there. So that's just part of it. What I'm just going through with you is just, you know, the overall bits of how you can actually create your business so that it's profitable and enjoyable and you start getting the success that you're looking for and get rid of that shop. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that content is what we're talking about and how, yes, and I'm glad you brought that up, how your friend is doing it to provide it to people and people are paying him for that. You know what? Because that's unique to him. So if we create you into this unique authority with your specific market, people will pay you that much. I was being conservative about 2,500. Yeah, because yeah, probably yeah. I didn't want to scare you that once you start doing this, things like that are possible. Exactly. No, I, mean, I think two thousand five hundred. I, I think that's a good. I personally think that's a good. I, I guess obviously it depends on how much time you spend and, and what the package includes. But I think two thousand five hundred is a good package. You know, it's not two thousand five thousand. That obviously that'd be great. No, I'm not saying I'm not worth that. But 
it's to a lot of people it's not affordable. Two thousand five hundred, you know, you're keeping it, you know, affordable to because a lot of the my target market are going to be people that they're a dad, they're a business owner that mm-hmm. they're not struggling, but they're wanting to they're wanting to take that next step. They're wanting to go to the next level. So potentially they're not making the finances that they want to be. So they might not have that five thousand to spend. All actually, let's be honest, they do but they might not believe that they do, you know, and that's where obviously as you're talking about, you've got to show them value, show them what not spending that $5,000 might cost them or 2500 might cost them. Right, right, okay. Um, like you say, your target group is, is the dads that just want a little bit extra, right? You know, that just want to go in oh, there. Man, it can be someone, what I, it can be, you know, high-end successful people. It might not even be. That, that was just one example as far as the money issue might be an issue with some people, but I, I could work with, you know, cause, cause he works with high end people, people that are quite successful already. So you're not trying to, you're not going there to show them how to make more money. Although that's going to be a side effect of what you do with them because you know, you make someone more positive, more happy, you right. improve areas of life and their finances are going to improve, you know, as a default. But you know, it might be high-end successful dads and business owners that just want to, you know, be more positive in themselves and want to be, you know, have living beliefs and, you know, want to have more balance in their life and want to, you know, and they're successful and they've got all the money in the world, but they're not happy. They're not fulfilled. So let's let's work on what do you want? What do you want? What did you want when you were a kid? What's your, you know, what, what's your, what is your dreams? What are the things that before life, beat you down and you got so snowed under with money, what were the things that if you had, you know, all the money in the world and the time, what would you do? What, what, what drives you? What's, what are you passionate about? It's cool. finding that with that successful person, finding out, you know, if money wasn't an issue and time wasn't an issue and they could have all the money in the world, if money wasn't a thing, what would you do? Right. You know, and so it would be, well, I wouldn't bother building, you know, Fortune 500 companies. Let's hope we get those clients. <laughs> but, I um, you know, I would, I'd love to, I'd love to do what you do. I'd love to teach. I'd love to inspire. I'd love to. Okay, cool. Why couldn't we use what you do now to do that? Or oh, what do you mean? Like I'm a, you know, I'm a CEO and a businessman. Yeah. How many young guys could you speak to that you could motivate and show them how you got to where you are? Right. And you know, go and talk or do you know, you could do that, and you know, and then all of a sudden you've got them thinking a different way. You know, so that's that client's also fits into my niche because the, the niche isn't about whether you want to have money or whether you've got money. It's about being, you're a dad, you're a business owner, you're a, you know, entrepreneur. Right. So as, as you're saying, you, you're absolutely right, man. People actually pay more and they value more whatever solution you're going to be bringing to them and they pay more for their wants. Now their bigger overall wants like yourself, um, you want the freedom, you want success, and you want to really get rid of that shop and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, right? Um, yeah. Most of the things that people are selling these days are just needs. People can do with that, all right? But when you uncover your client's needs, I mean, wants, and the overall why they're doing their business, it, you you become untouchable, man. So it's... Your, your, your package that we're going to create is going to be <clears throat> simply a communication of how you actually understand your customer's biggest wants and in a way that they would actually just want to do business with you right away. So you, you exactly know what you can provide the people. We just need to condense it into a, it's a pen, not yeah. it's a highlighter, not it goes this, 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 or you, it can make your face look pink. No, it's a pen. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So that all happens when you're, um, you've converted, I mean, you, you, you're engaging with them. So some people would re- realize if your content is good or it's not. The conversion part, this is where all the maths happens, but I believe in paying for my um, for my advertising. It's something that we can talk about and, and work through if we do decide to work together. My next favorite part of the blueprint is the connect part. Because once you have the right kind of people, 
you've engaged them with the right kind of content, you want to continue seeing their progress. And in the process from them, you're building those relationships and ambassadors, all right? Why I skip the convert part is once people are ambassadors, yeah, they become raving fans and then they help you sell your product. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you probably gonna. I mean, some people are out there. Hey, buy from me. Da, 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 da. You're just using the people that you've worked with, and they're spreading the gospel for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You build a community around yourself. You stay in touch with them, and you turn those people into absolutely raving fans. Okay. So they're out there preaching about how fantastic you are, and that how other people should come and join your community, and you know. That then lessens your selling. You're no longer hunting for new clients. You're solving more problems and you're not. I, I just don't like selling. I don't know about you, but some people do. But these days, people don't like being sold to, but they like to buy products. Yeah. yeah, I mean? yeah. So that's, that's, you know, people celebrate purchases. People celebrate buying a Ferrari. People celebrate buying a Rolls Royce, a Rolex, or whatever it is. But they don't want. A, Ferrari salesman on their on their case every single day calling. Hey, Craig, you want to buy the Ferrari today or you want to buy it tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, um, now what would it mean if we actually plugged this whole thing into what you're trying to create right now? Simple as it is. You have somebody that's walking through with you. Like you said, you, you are a big fan of accountability. You like putting things together in a way that you are helping and you want to create an ultimate product that will leave you with a lot of profit, a lot of success, and you get rid of your shop and especially spend time with Titan. Yeah. yeah. What would it mean? Yeah. Man, it is, uh, what would it mean? It is, yeah, everything I said, it, it'd be, uh, it'd mean that I'd just be uh, fulfilled and happy in what I'm doing. And, and I'd enjoy every day, you know, being able to help people, being able to have the freedom to spend that time with Tatham. I, I have that now, but if I spend a day with him, I, I can work when I want, you know what I mean? But if I take a day off to spend with Tatham and, and Letitia, then I am, I'm then, catching up, you know, for the next few days, I'm, you know, chasing my tail to catch up. So to have that free, it'd be the freedom to, you know, live life on my terms, I guess, would be the best way to put it. Great. So I think the first thing we really need to do is to start creating your ideal clients. And yeah, yeah. a whole process, you know, it usually takes a full week for us to just craft your, your client. And then I'll go through the whole work with you. Now, it's almost like a coaching process, you know, as well, where we're really discovering your people and getting you ready to meet the high-level clients that you actually want that brings you really, really good value. Now, is this something that you want to start in your business? Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah. All right. Now, just give me an overall view. What would you want to see happen in, in your business, say, Craig, in the next 12 months after you've plugged in this blueprint? What would I like to see happen? Um, yeah. Oh, man. In how would that make form. you feel? Yeah, how would that make you feel? After this blueprint has been plugged in, you've got your high-ticket clients, it's 12 months from today, just give me an outline of where you are, what you're thinking. I, I want to I be a part of that. Man, 12 months from today, it would be... Everything going well, I think I would feel very fulfilled and it'd be, it'd nearly be like a weight off my shoulders because I've wanted to do something along these lines for a long, long time. And when I say that, I, I think I have, I've, I've done, you know, that's why I started one fight and started the coaching, but it's taken me until now to work out what I really want to do. And that's work with, you know, is work with people directly to, you know, teach, educate, inspire, um, and yeah, so I think the fulfillment would be there, um, you know, obviously the high ticket item, the, 
you know, making that money. And in 12 months, if you're saying, if you're asking the question in an ideal world and I'm getting the clients I need, but also the flexibility with that, I think in 12 months' time I would be, yeah, secure, um, you know, and, and, you know, financially well, you know, knowing that that, that I have a valuable, uh, a valuable service to deliver that, that's, that's succeeding. Um, so therefore, I'd obviously be successful financially as well. So, yeah, I think it'd just it'd clear up the the messiness that that I'm in at the moment. As far as you know, I don't know if you've read the book, The One Thing, but I'm all. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a million things going on and I'm, you know, always grabbing, I, I'm entrepreneurial. I have an entrepreneurial mindset. If opportunity gets put in front of me, man, I, I very rarely say no, I'll generally give it a crack. And I think sometimes you've got to not do that. I think sometimes you've got to work on what's most important. So I think it had put me in a place of clarity and, and awareness of, you know, This is where. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. What else? That, that's. Is that. That answer the question or. <laughs> okay. All I'm just going to say is I'm, I'm, I'm ready to start working with you. Have you got seven weeks and 2,500 to invest in this? Seven weeks and 2,500. I definitely do. Great. So let's not worry about this. My thing is seven weeks. What's the date? So today works as... November. So... Uh -huh. My only thing would be, is it, so do you set a start, like if we say we start Monday next week, is it 2,500 and it's a seven week process and we have to do all these tasks each week, yada, yada, yada. I mean, and, and don't get me wrong, I love accountability. All I'm going to say is the next probably six weeks, uh, man, I'm going to Hamilton Island for four days. I'm going to Mackay over Christmas. So the answer is yes to your question, but as long as I can, you know, I've just got to make it work around all that. And I mean, I'm assuming you, you do the whole Christmas thing as well. You've got kids, so. All right, so this is how we're going to do this. Craig, I think you're a good bloke. Um, in, in as much as you are going to be my neighbor real soon, although I'm probably never going to see that house in, in Queensland. <clears throat> Oh, it's an investment property. You're not actually living there. No, it's an investment. Oh, okay. I was, I was looking at an investment up there too. Yeah, you should. You oh, should. Yeah. And, we, and then we can be proper. We can be proper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, so how we will do this is um, I, I took all this time so that I could figure out if you're the one person I want to work with. The reason being, I want to work with people that are dedicated. I want to work with people. And that's why I was asking you all these weird questions. Because I want to yeah, see, yeah, yeah. I want to see how we can work together, and I want to see if you're consistent. Okay, right. I'm a father too, so what we will do is I want to work around you, but we want to do it in a way that we both happy. Okay, so yeah, I will send you through the application form and also the bank details and everything else. All right, yeah. and I want to start as soon as possible, and then when you're free, you. Are free but when you have a space of an hour or so we curve out whatever we have it's not like you're gonna be busy 25 7 okay yeah. I know you've got kids but you've got that hour at 2 a.m. in the morning at 3 a.m. if we really want to make this work we will work around that yeah you, yeah, what I mean? you, you get yeah. what I mean All right yeah, yeah. Because, because what I can see is if we start you off in 2017 and a fantastic way you're clear on where you want to go you've got you've got a set of um you know maybe a product that we trust we test and see how it's working with people we figure out what's working and we tweak it 
Um, I also have a whole back end of SEO, Facebook ads, and my whole business is around digital marketing. We'll help yeah. you set you up as an authority in your space. And essentially, that is what I feel like you deserve to start living a life of your dreams, Mr. Craig. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. So, how do we? Um, how, tell me how you how you want to proceed. Um, man, send me through all the info. Send me through the application. Um, yeah, that's just yeah. so that my boss can see it. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm not I'm not sitting here for. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My my boss needs college fees, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so do you work? Do you is this your business? Do you work for yourself, or do you? Man, I I I I work by myself, but I've got a whole team behind me. Yeah. Um, yeah, because most of the stuff that I do, the SEO, because what this is, this whole coaching mini coaching uh, session. Is so that I create people that I can work with throughout. Okay, so if we create you into an authority, um, we're going to be working throughout the rest of the time you have a business, because yeah. you're going to want us to sort out your website. You're going to want us to sort out your SEO. You're going to want us to sort out your um, Facebook ads, because once you start having all this stuff, you're going to want to put it out there to to the right kind of people. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. This, this is essentially this face to face. You deal with me, but all the other work behind the scenes, you deal with my team. Yeah, yeah, got you. Yeah. All right. So, what's the, what does the package include in that seven weeks? So, at this end of seven weeks, I come out with a product. All right. You, um, come, up with, you come up with your niche market, you yep. come up with product, you come up with collateral which is probably like a blueprint that is just a one pager that you can actually just present to people and they get it. All yeah. right. Like we did with you. Um, we come up with your elevator pitch and we also come up with a lot of content that will establish you straight after you, 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 you know who your market is. All right. Yeah, so yeah. We're working with you with all that content and then, um, Pretty much, we would establish you as the authority, um, create speech for you, because you're going to need one, all right? Yeah. And then we create a sales process for you, how you get your client from where they are to where they want to be, all throughout, yeah. okay? And then that's essentially how you're going to be delivering your product. Yeah. And in the process, all the nooks and crannies about how people become... Um, authorities, if you want to go into writing white papers or even an ebook, because you're going to need one. Yeah. Right. And we're going to start putting you in the media. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you've seen stuff that um, I've been, I don't know if I've posted lately. If you check out, there's a thing called sourcebottle.com.au. They essentially want people that are authorities to comment on certain topics. So that's the kind of content we're gonna be creating with you and putting you through to the right kind of people with the right kind of message to get your right kind of person. Crafting yeah, cool. product, the whole purpose, the whole process, and your biggest payoff. So normally yeah. it takes seven weeks, but we'll stretch it. It, it, it goes up until you're ready to, to, to say I'm finished. You know why? Because I know I'll still be working with you with the SEO, with the Facebook ads and all the other things. The reason yeah. why I have this front is so that when I'm working with somebody on, on their end product, which is their Facebook or their SEO, I already know that they have a business. They have a product. They have a process. Yeah. That's easy for us to get the clients and then it's just a whole circle once again. Does that sound like yeah. something that is cool for you? Yeah, man, for sure. Definitely. Do you yeah. understand what I need from you and do you understand what uh, you need from me as well? Yeah, yeah, basically. I mean, that's, it, it actually, it's a little bit more than I thought it was as far as um, what I get from you guys. So 
that that was one of the things because you know when I say I haven't done a lot to I have done a lot of research and I have been putting things in place like I've been looking at virtual assistants to uh, I've been looking at ghost writers for blogs um, I've been looking at you know studying into a lot of things like that there's a there's a couple of people there's a girl Michelle um, I can't give her last name now she's the the high class hippie she calls herself um, she's a she's a coach but she she has a lot of content on her website and blogs and stuff like that. And my partner actually went and done a weekend retreat with her where they went through. It was a retreat. It was all about um, limiting beliefs and finding yourself. But the second day was about business, was about you, where you are and where you are. So similar to this, I guess, but in, in, in a two-day retreat. And the, one of the things she went over with my partner and with the other, the other people there was all the blogs and that she's got, she's gone, I don't have time to write blogs. She said, I don't have, to, and I don't want to. She said, my time is all spent coaching with people, right. either one or in groups, delivering my product. All the other stuff, she said, I've got a team set up that does all of that. So yeah. That's my part. But hang on, your blogs are content that are, it's your knowledge. And they said, yeah, but if you find good blog writers, yeah. they'll... They'll research the content or they'll just get you to do some dot points and they know your speech. They and know they, what works. A catchy and they'll use that to put a blog together for you. You can have a read over it to make sure you're happy with it and they'll put it out there. So, yeah. So, that's essentially what you guys do, yeah? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. These days, you want to specialize your time for the people that are going to buy from you. You want to yeah. specialize. You want to specialize your time to deal with one-on-ones like this. You don't want to yeah. specialize your time fixing the back end of whatever. No, that's not what makes the money. The money is in conversing with people. So you want to spend as much time dealing with your clients and then the rest of the stuff is taken care of. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's where my team comes in. We become your back end to this whole network. So you just go out there, you deliver your speeches, you deliver your videos, everything, when people log in or people um, sign in to whatever white paper you dramatically have written, <laughs> you know, yeah. you, they, they sign in, they go through a funnel that you dramatically have organized and then they get tripped into smaller and smaller products that you have dramatically produced. This is where I come in. This is where the, the whole Chibanga Bank starts. But I want to make sure that we've gone through and creating the best business. And then it's easy for me to go out there and create content that you want because you know what? We've worked through. We know exactly who your customer is. We know exactly what your customer is. We know exactly what their pain is. We know exactly what works for them and we know exactly what time they get up for a shit and we want to have a message right in front of them while they're yeah, sitting yeah. on the toilet. Yeah, yeah, while they're sitting there on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Yeah, so I'm not going to take much of your time. Thank you so much. I was shooting you through uh, the, um, the whole Shibanga Bang. I have taken the liberty of uh, recording this session. If you want to go through it, so that you can have a look, see, and see if it is still something you want to go ahead with. You see, I don't take prisoners. I don't take people hostage. I want to make sure that you really want this. And I want, that's why you have to still make through the application. The reason yeah. being, I want to work with people that really know where they want to go. I want to work with people that really um, have been doing this for, say, the last four years. And the people that I've worked with, Tremendous results. And even me being in Australia six years, and I'm telling you I've got a property in, in Queensland. I had the letter from, I'll show you. I was just looking at the things. Um, oh yeah, there we go. You, you would probably recognize this. Your deed of uh, purchase. No, that's a letter from the mayor. Oh, yeah, right. I, I can't see it very clear because it's still, it's only a little picture in the corner. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Ah, nice. City of Gold Coast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, 
things are possible. And I also want to hang around people that will motivate me, inspire me. You will teach me a few things as well. You know what I mean? It's not going to end here. And once your product is ready, um, like I said, we will cross pollinate. I would have clients that really are stuck and I don't probably know how to unlock them. And my first man will be Craig. You know why? Because Craig has a process and we trust that process. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? So it's just a matter of opening yourself up to a whole area of things that are possible. Right? Yeah, yeah. Do you have any questions for me, sir? No, nah, man, it all sounds good to me. Good stuff. Are you, good. you happy with this, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Really good. Good stuff. It's, uh, it's what I've been looking for. $2,500, man. It's... Uh, in all honesty, my time to, to put it all together myself and to, to source all the, you know, everything I need would have cost me more than that, so. Well, okay, all right. I'm gonna have to reconsider that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's good with you guys too, because it's, um, it, it's smart. It's, you, you kind of, um, you know, obviously some people come to you guys, they get their business built and then they cut ties. They're happy with their business and they part ways and do their own thing. I'm sure that happens, but, you know, if you can work with people and build their business around somebody that's got a, you know, a very valuable uh, message to deliver or, you know, and you guys have been there at the start of that, you basically, yeah, you make. Making a making guy in Melbourne that wants help with this. Next minute, I'm sending you three people that want help building their business because who am I working with? I'm working with people like me who are wanting to move forward in life. So I'm going to teach them how to take action, how to get the right mindset, how to decide what it is they really do want. What are they going to need next? Well, okay, how do we put that into place? Well, hey, I've got the perfect people you need to speak to. You know, it's an option. It's, you know, it's up to you. But hey, give my mate Prosper a call. He'll hook you up. <laughs> All right, and like uh, one of my other clients, we are actually creating a, pro a product because he wanted to help people with their social media, but he didn't know where exactly to go. And I told him to just concentrate on Instagram, okay? Yeah. So now what he's doing is, is creating a product where he's helping other business people actually grow using their Instagram. And he's calling it Instamax or something like that. So of my other clients, I'm actually sending them off to buy his $250 product. You know why? Because I helped him create that. And now, because I trust it, he's just getting an overflow of clients because part of the blueprint is to connect. When once you create these relationships, you don't need 500,000 people, or 50 million followers. You just need a certain, you know, sector of groups because you know Prosper is out in Melbourne working. Yeah, and I know you are there in Gold Coast working. If you find something while you're working, you are guaranteed of customers. And can you imagine once you've created four or five people like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just becomes a ripple effect, you know what I mean? You'd be turning people off. You know, you'd be like Apple. Yeah, people yeah. are waiting in, in line to, to come and get a little bit of some Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cool, very cool. Yeah. Good work, man. All right, so what I will do, like I said, I will just shoot you through um, the whole shebang event. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to work together first for the first seven weeks, depending on how you want to start it. Um, you would have full access to my calendar. Pick a time, and then I'll make time for you. And trust me, man, let's do it whatever time around the clock that works and is sustainable. All right, you know why? Because... We cannot say we do not have time. There is an hour in between. There is an hour in between spaces that we can fill in. All right. So I want to be open because I'm working around the clock with people in the states, people in Canada, and I just picked up somebody in Nigeria. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> where are you from? Where, where, where are you from before Australia? No, I'm from Zimbabwe, man. <laughs> Zimbabwe. Oh, yeah. 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 That's cool. I want to go there. I haven't been there yet. You should. You should. Yeah. So, <laughs> and as much as he's my brother, but I'm just like, dude, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
But yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the world we live in now, right? So yeah, run the clock. Let's make this happen. And I'm really, really happy you've taken this decision, man. Um, a lot of people just wait and leave things to chance, but I can see you're fighting you top dog, all right? So I'll just start setting up a whole lot of things for you um, and just um, expect us. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Let's Very listen. cool. All right, man. Cool stuff. Not a problem. Thanks for your time, man. Cool. See you later.